big, big things ahead for Brian McGee. Mina de Maha, ladies and gentlemen, please all rise for the national anthem of Denmark, performed by Nadia Melm. Da dit land Det står med brede bøger Nær salt den østerstrand Nær salt den østerstrand Det bøtter sig i bakkedal Det hedder gamle Danmark Og det er fra jeres sal Og det er fra jeres sal Hvor gamle Danmark skal bestå Så længe Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is brought to you by Team Sarland in association with Viasat and sanctioned by WBA Supervisor Dave Roden from Birmingham, United Kingdom along with Danish Professional Boxing Federation Supervisor Jesper De Jensen. The three judges scoring this fight on the ringside will be Stanley Christodoulou from South Africa, Dr. Ruben M. Garcia from USA and Alfredo Polanco from Mexico. Our timekeepers at the bell are Per Stugård and Knud Erik Randbeck. And when the action begins, the man in charge of the actions in the ring is the referee Helm from Puerto Rico. Please welcome Luis Pabon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, live and in living color from Herning, Denmark, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the fighter on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks trimmed with Danish flag. His official weight, 76.1 kilograms. He joins us with 47 fights, 45 victories, 34 of those coming by way of a knockout against only two defeats. Mina de Mahel. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a former WBA and WBC world champion, hailing from Copenhagen, Denmark. Please welcome the challenger, the Viking warrior, Mickey. Standing ovation. And introducing Kessler. his opponent across the ring, the fighter on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks trim with red and white. His official weight, 76.2 kilograms. His record stands at 41 fights, 36 wins, 4 defeats, and one bout even, including 25 knockouts. Hailing from Belfast, Northern Ireland, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning and defending WBA Sovereign Wheel Age Champion of the World, Brian McGee! A fabulous clash for the World Super Middleweight title between Ireland's clever and experienced Brian McGee and Denmark's skillful, orthodox and quality operator Mikkel Kessler should blend really well 
on an important night, Glenn, for boxing in Europe and around the world. Well, certainly it's a good fight. And you've got Southport McGee trying to make an impression right from the start. It's very important for McGee to use his boxing skills. He's very good at that, very experienced in and out. And use the movement. Let's see if the Southport scouts can bother Kezad all. Tap clumsy on his way in there, McGee. That's good, job. Tries to get his jab flowing and get hold of the middle of the ring. Got seasoning and so much grit and experience, McGee. Fresh off that fifth round knockout defeat of Kester's friend, Rudy Marcus, and good body shot from McGee. Needs to settle well, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Looks a little bit tense at the minute, just snatching with his punches. Kessler's relaxing a bit, and that's a, a nice long jab. Kessler was down in his last fight, but he's got Alan Green in four in Copenhagen. That was it. The light heavyweight limit. Round back down to super middle. Will that be a problem at this stage in his career? Maybe, maybe not. One or two people have said he's looked drawn during the week, but I thought he looked really good on the scales, Glenn. Yeah, he did, and he's talked very well. He's confident, and this is, you know, a big homecoming for him. He wants to Im impress. His only two losses were away from home, and I think he feels that he's invincible in Denmark. Hand speed there from McGee. Might have the edge in that early. Good pinch these first two or three rounds. That would certainly help. Kessler trying to get behind his jab, which is a, a potent weapon. Physically strong and has plenty of power as well, Kessler. Never been short in that department. There's very little he does wrong, really, Kessler. Yeah, very good technically. And he's given McGee plenty of respect in the opening round. He's looking to try and get through with the jab. Throwing a few feints. Good jabs there from Kessler. Short with the right hand. Might be looking for a possible vulnerability in the body of McGee. Was down a number of times. A Lucian Butte, McGee, out in Canada. And again, Kessler with the right hand downstairs. There is some gaps there. McGee needs to be careful. Gets his own left back. Good start. Betfair. Sponsors of boxing on Sky Sports. Sky Movies Premiere. Sponsored by Intelligent Living from Panasonic. Housekeeping. We have a last minute reservation. Oh my God. That's Tobin Frost. Frost is responsible for the deaths of multiple agents. I've been waiting a long time for this. You're not going to get in my head. I am already in your head. Safe House. Available from Friday. No one brings you movies like Sky Movies. Championship boxing from Herning in Denmark. Nip and tuck first round. Kessler might have got the better. Yeah, maybe slightly. You know, he's at home and he just finished a little better. A couple of stronger punches, but very little in it. The first defense of this WBA 12 stone belt for Brian McGee he was elevated after winning the interim version. Complicated situation with uh, Andre Ward, really the WBA champion. But good start to the second by McGee on the front foot, using speed. Nice left hand, just trying to befuddle Kessler, who's slightly marked up and has a tendency, Kessler, to cut. Head went in as well there. Yes, he started this round a little more positively, McGee. I think he feels he's got to take the fight to Kessler. I'm sure they're aware they can't allow, they can't have close rounds. They're not going to get a steal a decision away from home. The body shot from Kessler. McGee is down and really badly hurt. And it's early in the second round. And in the fight, he just about gets to his feet. But that was the plan from Kessler. 
to expose the McGee body. He's brave. He's been up before from body shots, but that looked a sickener. Carl Crotch mentioned that he thought McGee was susceptible to body punches, and it just proves there that he was. Good solid right hand, straight through the middle. Got a bite on that gum shield, but Kessler knows now the key. The crowd rally behind their hero. He's brave, McGee. He's almost trying to go for broke here. Another body shot gets in. Okay, okay, okay. Well, he's reaching, he's lunging forward, he's walking under those body punches. They've took an awful lot out of him. 34 knockouts on Kessler's slate. And a big gulp of air he tries to get. In between the gun shield on the right hand, just misses there, Kessler. A minute left of the second, will McGee survive? Yeah, he's busting McGee up here. Good solid shots, the mouth is open from McGee. He's trying to keep it together, he's still taking it to Kessler. That might be something of a mistake. Right hand. And there's just the gaps that Kessler is finding with precision, accuracy. And he wants to make a statement too, doesn't he? Well, he's got the crowd all clapping. Great atmosphere. And has that wonderful start for McGee. He's still there. Oh! He really is in a pickle here, Brian McGee. Well, Headshots too from Kessler. There was a body shot went in and then a clash of heads a little bit. Oh, look at that! Almost went down, turned away McGee. Referee Lewis Pavon takes up the count. Can McGee get through to the bell? It goes. He wearily gets back to his corner. Oh dear, oh dear. For the Irish fans here in Herning. Yes, it's all going horribly wrong for Brian McGee. He's been hurt. Very badly, he's That's hanging on. 10 7 round. 10 7 round. Big, big round. And Kessler is strong, is confident. The crowd is behind him. And he's really up against it here, McGee. There's a lovely right hand. He took it to the jab to the head. And then slipped the right hand down to the body. There, there was a body shot, but also a clash of heads. And then that right hand as well. And turned away there, McGee. Third round scheduled for 12, but how much more can Brian McGee take? He's just got hold of this WBA belt. Is he going to lose it in his first defence? A right hand to the body, down again. This is so early in the round. And I'm not sure. No, the referee calls it off. A dramatic win for Mikel Kessler. A four-time world champion. The Danes celebrate. Kessler back in the big time. As he blows away Brian McGee with body shots. Well, that sent shockwaves around the sport. Well... The stadium erupted into noise with that right hand. And he really has done it in style. And there's some big, big fights out there. But Mikhail Kazza proven that he is still very much at the top of his game. Some people doubted after the losses to Calzaghi and to Ward. How long at the top level Mikhail Kessler will survive, but you know what he said in that interview with Andy Scott earlier in the week, that his friends around him would tell him if he didn't have it. And what he's proved tonight, he most certainly does have plenty. Bring on Ward, bring on Frotch again. What a 2013 in store, Glenn. Well, most definitely a call Frotch. I mean, the set of a, a mega fight there. And, you know, he's, he's still on top power. And what a fight that would be. I think Carl was saying back in the studio, they spoke earlier that Carl will want him to fight in Britain. I'm sure Mikel will want to fight here in Denmark because he's never lost in Denmark. Frotch has never lost in Britain. 
Where do they go? Well, we'll do that. I'm sure we will care as long as they get it on. We just want the fight. Let them settle that out. Obviously, Carl would love it in Nottingham, and you know, fairly maybe he should get that opportunity. Hunted his prey. Got the weakness right early. Kessler knew that really it was a matter of time. And Brian McGee, who deserves so much credit for what he's done in, in the sport, and he's had a great last two or three years, but he was up at another notch in class, in levels. It's been, you know, it's a great career for Brian McGee. He's done fantastically well to get here. He's at a very high level, but every time he stepped into that major level, he's come unstuck. And, you know, it's a shame, but he's in with a very, very good fighter. Remember, he did beat Carl Broch. Reenacting the body shot with the right hand, Mikel Kester, all smiles. He's a lovely guy. He's a credit, not only to Danish sport, but to, to boxing all through Europe and the world. A real personality engaging and at 33 he's got plenty left in the tank what of mcgee now well he's failed at the very very highest level but you know he's still a good competitor and you know there's still fights out there for him just coming down the level and they're massive fights for this man mikhail kessler and i bet carl back home is uh, rubbing his hands. He'll be sorry for Brian McGee, but it's worked out. Froch Kessler could be on next summer. Let's hope so. A destructive win for Kessler in front of his beloved fans as he stops Brian McGee in three rounds, quicker than many people expected. But those body shots, crucial. Yeah, he unlocked the, the door very early with a, the right to the, to the body. And he knew straight away that that was the place to go for. That was the, the weakness that had been spoke of. His 35th knockout, Kessler. And I'd have thought one of the sweetest at this stage of his career. McGee saying the first one that hit me, that was the one. That first one took everything out of him and he never recovered from that. Lovely to hear the respect. No trash talking between the pair beforehand. And afterwards, all friends. Great advert for boxing. There really is a couple of great guys and they've just been in there, give their best. And then they're all friends again. Classic guys. As is Carl Froch. It wasn't the same as started on Promoters get together. Make the rematch happen, please. Mina de Mahel, ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 24 seconds in the round number three when our referee in charge, Luis Pabon, steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The winner by TKO and the new WBA Super Middleweight World Champion from Copenhagen, Denmark, the Viking Warrior, Mickey. Destructive victory for Mikel Kessler. Is the Cobra quaking in his boots? You can find out after this short break. Bedfair. Sponsors of boxing on Sky Sports. Premier Banking from Barclays, sponsors of movies in the Sky Store. You're afraid if I go back out there, I'll fail. I'm afraid that you want to. What are you? I haven't got to reckoning. 
Let the games begin. You've given these people everything. Not everything. Not yet. The Dark Knight Rises. Available to rent now from the Sky Store. Some may come and some may go. He will surely pay his. Come on, people now. Smile on your brother. Everybody get together. Try to love one. Feel the crush with new Mintero Crushems. Sick of all these Hollywood psychopath movies. Here's one with a difference. Put your hands up. No. But I've got a gun. I don't care. From the director of In Bruges comes a new comedy. It's about seven psychopaths. Right now. Well, that's just great. Seven psychopaths in cinemas now. PC World USA calls Mists of Pandaria the best expansion yet. Pandaria. Now try it free at Warcraft.com. Over a million people visit Grosvenor Casinos every year. But did you know, you can also play all our great games online at GrosvenorCasinos.com slash TV. Sign up now and you'll get £5 free. Blackjack, slot games, roulette, you'll find them all here. So join now at GrosvenorCasinos.com slash TV. It's the Argos Christmas Countdown. Save up to half price on brawn and Oral-B personal care. Argos it. Wow. wow. It's been a rough month. But we're gonna have to work through the night. What the heck's that parrot doing here? Parrot? Sir? He, he... Boss, you don't look so good. Maybe you should go home. Okay. Maybe this can wait till Monday. Yeah! <laughs> Bigger bottle, better value. Grab more Max. a poll so you lot could choose our next money back special loads of you voted and you've chosen something that's got our billionaire buddy very excited money back on selected bets if van persie scores any time in the manchester derby bet now but don't moan to us if it doesn't come off <laughs> you picked him we hear you punters spot on meat second session of the day The Dane Slayer, slain by the Dane, Mikkel Kessler, four-time world champion, a third-round stoppage victory over Ireland's Brian McGee. Referee waved it off. So what do you reckon, Carl? Are you quaking in your boots, as we said before the break? I know what to expect from Mikkel Kessler. You know, he's a, he's a world-class operator. He punches hard with both hands. And, um, you know, when we fight, it will be a fight between two warriors, both wanting to win. And it's a fight that could go either way. It's one I know I can win. It's not going to be easy. But um, I'm expecting a thank you message off him because I said, <laughs> if there's nothing happening early on, send the right hand down to the body. He doesn't like body shots. And I know that I was soaking up a couple of body shots off, off Mikel. He throws it well. It's accurate. It's on the solar plexus of the stomach. And he doesn't hold the best of body shots. And you see in there that, that went in to the pit of his stomach. You're not going to make yourself very popular with the Irish, given the... Given no, the that's, that's, to... that's the downside of it. You know, there's nothing against Brian McGee. He's, he's, he's done himself proud, he's done the sport proud. He's had a long, exciting career, but the body shots, for some reason, he just seems to really, mm. really wince at them. He can't handle them, and Mikel sent him inaccurate. He puts everything behind that shot there. He could have took a bit of a cheap shot here. I'm not sure if I'd have took that myself <sighs> there on the back of the head as he turned, but he didn't, and, um, you know, it was, a, it was a devastating defeat because he, he got put over a couple of times earlier on and the ref had to wave the fight off because he, he, could, he just couldn't take them body shots and Mikel was only going to get stronger and better. I couldn't see McGee doing anything. I'd have liked to see McGee in the fight a little bit more, landing a couple of shots, 
wearing Mikel out a little bit, you know, <laughs> rough him up a bit for you, yeah. rough him up a bit, and maybe stick the nut on him and give him, let him know he's been in a night's work. It's Ca almost Ca too easy for Casa that Ca one. Casa seems to have really long arms and he's, he's got a, a naturally fast right hand. We saw him signing autographs earlier on, he's left handed. So, he is left handed. Uh, so yeah. he's got the speed from his right hand that you would normally have from a jab, but he's got the strength of, of, a, of a banging right he's hand. He's got so a solid jab as well because he's left handed. But he can punch with both hands. But you're yeah. right; he's got a he's got a fast right hand because a fast left hand, but a solid right hand. So it's with the with the speed, which makes him more awkward. You know, when he drops the body shots down to lead with a body shot, uh, <coughs> when you've got an opponent stood in front of you, it takes it takes guts, it takes confidence, and it takes accuracy. And we saw him do it in every round. Uh, to Brian McGee and actually land on the target and take him out with it and hurt him with it. As long as Brian McGee feet, wincing at the shot. As long as you get your feet in range, the right hand to the body goes in quite comfortably. But he was, he was throwing it a lot and McGee could have, you know, caught him on the way in. But um, he was too worried about getting caught to the body, Brian, because yeah. as you've seen, he can't take the body shots. So that's the area to target. I, I think that'd probably be curtains now for Brian McGee. I think that's the last we'll see of him. Maybe domestic level, there's a couple of fights out there for him. Mm -hmm. um, if you look down our top ten rankings, there's a couple of names that stand out. Gale. Exactly, that could yeah. find Tell you what, we can, we can hear from Brian McGee about his uh, future plans, I'm sure, right now, talking to Danish TV. Brian McGee, Mikkel just said that you're a real good sportsman, that you came with all that you had. Is that uh, what you think yourself? Yeah, I did. I, I came to fight. You know, the, the first shot he hit me to the body, you know, it, 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 really, it really stung me bad, hurt me, and uh, I just couldn't recover. It took all my might to get up that, from the first shot. But I, I kept fighting on, trying to turn the fight around, and it was a good fight until, you know, he, he kind of, you know, it's like me, my first two times here, body shot, so, you know, that's some of my own medicine back. But Mikhail is a, is a great champion, and, uh, you know, all through the fight they built up, he's, uh, he's been like a champion, you know, he's treated me with respect, the people of Denmark have treated me with respect, you know, they should all be very proud of him, I'm proud of a great champion in Mikhail. So he was the best today? He was, he was, yes. He's, you know, I always knew he was a champion. You know, he, he treats everybody like a champion. You know, and any kids watching, to look at Mikel as a thing. And I, I tried to fight. I came here to fight as a champion. You know, and I, I trained like a champion before I came here for three months. And I gave it my all in the ring. But you know, uh, body shot is, is hard to recover. And the standing toe to toe, it was a good fight. But when I got hit of the body, you know, it uh, hurt me. Showed great dignity there, didn't he, in defeat? Yeah, humble as well. And you know, it's, remember he went in the ring as the champion, uh, and, and and but he, he's, the way he was talking, he's basically saying, you know what, this guy's a champion. There's not many world champions that are out there that actually believe they're the best in the world. I think the way Brian McGee was talking there, he was in a position where he was he was called a champion, but I think he realised he was going in with a better man. How he's talking about his fight. Carl, what happens now then between you and Kessler? Is it Eddie Hearn has to get on the phone tomorrow night, tomorrow to the Salem brothers and sort something out? I think it's already step one complete because they've had a, quite a productive conversation. It's looking promising that the fight can definitely happen um, in the spring or early summer in 2013. And, um, you know, they'll be talking now in a couple of days following that. I mean, that, that could have been potentially a spanner in the works for the, for the Froch Kessler 2 for the rematch because if Brian McGee would have upset the apple cart there then would have been rethinking our plans. Um, I don't think Lucien Butte wants to take the immediate rematch. I think he's sort of shying away from that and a lot of people can understand why. Um, so the only sensible fight out there for the fans, for television, for me and for Mikel is the rematch. Um, the first fight was, was a humdinger and um, everybody loved it who watched it and to get the rematch on I think Everyone's going to get excited. You're, I'm you're bang up for it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Bang am, up yeah. for it. I can't wait. There's, there's nobody out there really I'd, I'd want to fight. Obviously, the ward, I'd love to avenge that defeat. But that would naturally come after fighting Mikel Kessler and getting the, getting the victory against Mikel Kessler and wiping the slate clean with that one. There's always a chance of a trilogy, but we'll get the uh, next one out of the way first. Look down that camera and send a message to, to Mikel Kessler then. <laughs> Mikel Kessler, where are we looking here? Over here. He's not, he's not going to be intimidated by the Cobra. Me and Mikel Kessler were quite good friends. and um, what, All I can say is, well done, Mikel. Um, you took my advice well, but um, if you come to the UK, you'll be leaving that black belt with me because that, I've not got that in my collection. I've got the red one, I've got the green and gold one, and that black one's staying with me if it comes over to the UK. But get yourself over here because um, we're going to give the fans what they want and give them a good night's work. We want to see it. We want to see it big time. <laughs> Johnny, thanks for your company, Carl. Let's hope it, it happens. And thanks for your com Pleasure. company as well tonight.
Okay, busy week ahead. Sky Sports as uh, the builder Tammy Khan's return continues on Wednesday behind the ropes. A new trainer, a new camp. Will it be a new Khan? We've sent our cameras to visit Khan's new team. I'm being Carlos Molina, 7 o'clock, Sky Sports 1 HD. Thursday, ringside comes from LA as we bring you all the up-to-date news ahead of Amir Khan's big night, 6 p.m., Sky Sports 1 HD. The final countdown to Carmelina Friday. Alfredo Angulo, heavyweight hope, Deontay Wilder also on the show. Join the 6.30, same channel. Then the fight itself. Can Khan reignite his career? 2 a.m., Sky Sports 1 HD. So the Great Dane becomes a four-time champion. Will it be the Cobra's turn next? Watch all six Sky Sports channels on your mobile and online. Bedfair. Sponsors of boxing on Sky Sports. Tomorrow, live Scottish Premier League, Dundee face Dundee United, Sky Sports 4 at 12.30. Live Premier League on Sky Sports 1 and Sky 3D at 1 with the Manchester Derby. And that's followed on Sky Sports 1 with West Ham Liverpool at 3.30. This is Sky Sports, your home of sport. Sports, wherever you are this Christmas. Are you ready to face the future? No matter what? Maybe it's up to you. Only the Brave Tattoo. The new fragrance. Only the Brave. The original. Diesel. Come on, mate. It's getting cold. Hang on. What was that? You, you want us to make a start on yours, no, yeah? Don't touch it! I think that was be my guess. OK, cheers! <laughs> right! Oh, here we go. Ah! The KFC Gladiator Box Meal. A tasty fillet burger, fries, side drink and two pieces of chicken. Conquer your hunger. You've got something on you there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nice laptop. Thanks, it's an Ultrabook convertible. All right, settle down. What's all this, then? It's a laptop and tablet in one. Crikey! Is it powered by coal and steam? No, it's powered by Intel. Suddenly, everything else seems old-fashioned. The Ultrabook convertible. A laptop when you need it, a tablet when you want it. What's this? Sorry. Look out for the Argos Christmas countdown deals. Like these Beats by Dre headphones, now only £118, our lowest ever price. And get this Kindle Fire, now only 99 <laughs>